I'm making my way into London today to photograph one of its iconic sites. And as you can see, today's site is going to be, here it comes, St Paul's Cathedral. I'm going to be using the underground to travel through London, it's the best way to get around. And I'm heading towards Blackfriars Tube Station. You can see on the map here that Blackfriars is on the green and yellow lines, that's a district and circle line. It's really easy to navigate your way around the tube map. The underground is the best way to travel in London. It's quick, it's easy, you'll get where you're going. You don't have to worry about driving or parking a car anywhere. Here we are, we've arrived at Blackfriars Tube Station. It's right by the River Thames. So you want to make your way now up to street level and then we'll head on to St Paul's from there. Now we're outside the Tube Station. If you turn to your right and head straight up, you're heading towards Fleet Street. Here you're going to get your first view of St Paul's. It's through a little side street where you can just see the dome poking up through the buildings. It's a really good photo opportunity to get a few shots of the dome just poking through. The next street along is Ludgate Hill. And this is where you're going to get your first view of the front of St Paul's Cathedral. Now St Paul's was built by Sir Christopher Wren after the Great Fire of London. It's been used for loads of events, including Charles and Diana's wedding back in the 80s. You can see here you get some really nice shots of the front of St Paul's Cathedral. If you want to, you can then close in, get a few more detailed shots, get in the dome and some of the architecture. So that's the front view of St Paul's. Next I want you to make your way back towards the tube station and we're going to head across Blackfriars Bridge, heading over to the south side of the river. Once we're on the south side, we're going to make a left turn and continue along the riverbank until we come to the Millennium Bridge. You can see here we get some really great views of the Millennium Bridge crossing the river with St Paul's in the background. There's a rule in London that nothing can be built to obscure the view of St Paul's, so this should be something that will always be here. Once you're on the Millennium Bridge again, you get some really nice shots of the bridge going away with St Paul's in the background. So there you go, there's three different options of places in London that you can go to to photograph St Paul's. They're all really close to each other. Hope you enjoyed this. I'm Dave Vickers. This is The Photo Show. See you next time.